Welcome back to another how-to episode from M-Wave where we'll be showing you how to install and initialize a 3.5 inch SATA hard drive. Now one of these is an awesome addition to your system for mass storage for things like photos, videos, media sources. They are a little bit slower than say a SATA SSD or even an NVMe M.2. However, when it comes to bang for your buck, these are definitely hard to beat. That being said, let's jump into the installation. Before we get started, there is just a few things we do need first. For instance, we will need a SATA data cable. This actually comes with your motherboard. And we'll need a SATA power cable, which comes with your power supply. There is actually a really good chance you've already got one installed inside your system. You can definitely use that one if you do. We'll also need some screws that come with the case and a screwdriver, of course. Now, as for the mounting options, every case is different. We've got a super easy one today as we've got a hard drive cage ready to go. You can actually install these sometimes just straight on the back here, but not for this case. So let's start by removing this hard drive cage and getting it installed. Now hard drive cages will just have slightly different designs every time, but generally you're just dealing with like one or two thumb screws. Just unscrew those and you pull the whole cage out. This cage actually supports two drives at the same time, which is always a nice addition. However, we've just got the one drive to deal with. As for the screw placements, there is holes on the sides and on the bottom. Now these will change depending on your mounting solution or the design of your cage. Now what we wanna do is just slide it inside the cage. Do make sure that the power and the data ports are at the front here. We'll make life a lot harder if it's at the back. Slide it in and just roughly line it up with these screw holes here and then secure it into place. Once it's nice and secure inside the cage, just proceed to return it to its original placement. The SATA power cables generally have three or four different connection points, which is why I said there's a good chance you already have one inside your system. And the connection is just a keyed L shape and it's the larger of the two. So we'll just connect this one into the hard drive. And it's very similar for the SATA data cable as well. Another keyed L shape, it is just the smaller of the two connections. Once it's connected, we just wanna feed this one through as it will connect to the motherboard on the other side. Once they're both connected, pretty much all done. If you've made a little bit of a mess like I have, just spend a little bit of time just to cable manage it before closing the case. Once you're happy with the cable management and your case is all closed, it's time to initialize your drive. So let's jump into the OS and I'll show you how it's done. Once you're in the OS, right click on the start menu and go to disk management. Once you're there, you'll be greeted with a message asking you to initialize your new drive. Make sure GPT is selected. If you're using a new operating system like Windows 10 or 11, then hit OK. Then find your new drive, which will still be unallocated. Right click on it and select new simple volume. Then hit next twice. If you'd like to give your new drive a different letter, now is the time, otherwise just hit next. We now have to give the drive a quick format Make sure NTFS is selected and the allocated unit size is default. We can even give the drive a name if you'd like. For this tutorial, we're gonna call it new hard drive and make sure perform a quick format is selected, then hit next. We'll then get a pop-up giving us all the information on the settings we've selected. If you're happy, hit finish and that's it. Your new drive is ready to go. And that's it guys, your new drive is all ready to go. Hope you found the video helpful, but if you do still have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll help you out. As always, thanks for watching.